Hi, I'm Rick, and this is another guitar video. This is a guitar. Uh, I'm gonna talk about picking, um, picking the guitar. Like this, this is a pick, and uh, there are a couple of ways you can use it. One of the ways is to put it away and not use it at all. Uh, not playing with the pick means you have to play with your fingers, all of them and this will have a certain sound. It will also, uh, you will also be able to do certain things that you can do when using a pick and, uh, and vice versa. There are certain things you cannot do with your fingers. If you use the pick, you can use the pick exclusively and you can use it in a couple of ways. Usually people tend to play with the, the point of the pick, but you can also use the side or even the back of the pick. Uh, all of these parts of the pick will give a different sound when you're strumming. So, for instance... It's played with the, uh, the point of the pick, and if I play with the back of the pick... It sounds a bit warmer, and I hope you can hear that. I also noticed uh, over the years that I tend to pick too hard and I tend to slam the strings too much especially when playing uh, acoustic in a live situation even though the acoustic guitar is amplified uh, this has to do with not being able to hear myself properly or with not being confident that the sound of the guitar is projecting all the way to the back of the venue or the bar where I'm playing um, so it's a it's a thing that I'm aware of and um, the reason that it is a problem for me is because my dynamic range decreases. So the harder I pick, if I pick real hard, then uh, there's no way to, to boost that sound. There's no way to, to give it a, a higher level, level still when I'm already picking real hard. There's also another problem with picking too hard and that is that the instrument that you're playing can be overplayed that way. So the acoustic guitar and the electric guitar are alike. If you pick too hard, if you slam the strings too hard, the instrument can choke up. Um, the strings need a certain amount of room to breathe and uh, the sound needs to get out of the guitar properly. And, and, and so uh, this is an example of me strumming the guitar with a pick. You can listen to how it sounds and um, I'll play the same thing afterwards uh, using just my fingers. Same thing with my fingers. Hopefully you heard the difference between the two ways of playing. Uh, with the pick it's usually a bit brighter and a bit louder as well. Using the fingers it's a bit softer and um, uh, you can combine the two to form hybrid picking. Um, so uh, a bit of hybrid picking which is very simple but uh, hopefully you get the idea. Uh, these, uh, the pick is just playing the bass notes and the, the lower part of the song the fingers are playing the higher notes. There's also another thing, and that's where do you pick 
on the guitar. The further forward you pick, the warmer the sound will get. So sometimes you need a certain riff to stand out a bit. You can pick it harder, uh, but you can also pick it in a different position. The further towards the bridge you, you pick it, the more pronounced it will be in the song. So uh, you don't necessarily have to pick harder to have something uh, jump out. You can also pick in a different position. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been informative for you. If you have any questions or remarks, please put them in the comments. Hope to see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep on playing.